isn't just hospitals and schools, transport and major transport hubs are needed as well. So for example, airports, international airports, which carry their own concerns about pollution, about noise, curfews, all of these really need to be thought through if a city is to enter into a major city status and if its citizens are going to be happy enough to live within these areas. We're going under a, a tunnel right now that, that airplanes go past uh, in the Sydney airport. Sydney airport has a very strict curfew. We know which suburbs are affected by the, the runways and, and by the flight paths, but it's still an incredibly, incredibly controversial concept. Uh, how long should a, an airport run for? What, where should the curfew be? How many planes per hour should be allowed to go? And as that occurs, we saw even more controversy when Sydney, which for a long time has really needed a second airport, people were not willing to have it. So we get this acronym we call NIMBYs, not in my backyard. It can refer to, to many different concepts, uh, people talking about perhaps immigration rates. Uh, also, it can mean major infrastructure. People willing to have a second airport in Sydney, but not willing for it to be anywhere near their house. And so we, we finally found after a, a long period of time uh, that Badgerys Creek is the airport that they're going to go with. And we've, we've seen issues with import uh, infrastructure. Uh, we're going to see an increase in trucking as, as freight is used to, to be brought in and, and importations happen with that second airport. Are the roads ready to bring in the trucking that we're going to see? Do we need to build a train hub so that trains can more quickly, more efficiently, and with less impact on the roads, take these major uh, freighting halls uh, to Port Botany to deal with shipping or to the various places that they need to go to? So all these are questions that need to be answered when we're looking at the infrastructure and we're looking at places changing over time and we're looking at urbanization as a concept, increasing the size of cities, and cities dealing in the long run with some of these some of these issues in the medium to long term. How are we going to improve infrastructure so that people can live in certain ways? How do we improve infrastructure so business can occur in a way that's productive, in a way that is time efficient? And and how do we get the right balance? How do we find the right areas with when we have tensions in major infrastructure hubs, in uh, railways, in road usage, all of these questions. How do we build enough schools? How do we ensure that the commute isn't too long? All of these questions need to be dealt with in the long run as cities grow in size and in complexity and the business uh, of big cities continues on.